Hi everyone, welcome to my day four curls. They're feeling a little bit dry, so we're going to refresh, but also do a little bit of treatment. So here I'm going in with the Umberto Giannini Grow Tonic. I've been applying this to my scalp quite sporadically, but you know, every few days I will just sort of redo it and especially on wash day as well. It really does help stimulate the hair growth at the scalp, giving it a little bit of a boost as I'm trying to grow out my hair. I've never really achieved length further than my shoulders, so this is a challenge for me this year to finally actually get some length going on. So I just apply this all over my scalp and then gently massage with my fingers So, some clips. I'm just going to clip away the top parts of my hair so I can get to the underneath, which does need a little bit of love. This is also where my curls are tighter. Um, I have actually got quite a good length coming on now, but it, um, naturally, it's always a bit of a slow process when you really want to grow it out. So, here I'm going with a Not Your Mother's Mango and Gardenia leave, uh, leave in spray like a detangler. It smells so good. I've imported this from America. So what I do, I just spritz my hair just to give it a bit of a refresh, but also some goodies for my hair as well. And I'll just rake that through and quickly run that through my hair. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Buclem Curl Defining Gel. This is the yellow bottle. I'm a little bit in love with this. The smell is quite overpowering, but it is actually rather rather good and leaves my hair really really shiny and it's fantastic because it's so liquidy it's quite easy to distribute through my hair and to make sure that you know everything is covered. Next I'm going in with the Umberto Giannini um, this is a like a volume mousse it hasn't really got much in the way of hold um, to be honest I mainly use this for a refresh because it smells quite good and it just adds a little bit of moisture so to speak and he reactivates any other creams and bits and bobs that I've got in my hair. So I'm just going to work through my other layers now using some of the praying hands technique sort of or my adaption of and again just kind of running a tinsy wincy bit of gel through just to give it a bit of a wake up and reactivate the gel that's already in my hair. My hair is in need of a bit of love. Oh gosh, honestly. These are my bangs and I can't stand them. They're always laying a little bit flatter compared to the rest of my hair, which is really curly. And then I've just got a few strands that are more like a limp wave than anything else. Alright, I'm just working through my hair bit by bit, just making sure that I cover as many of my strands as possible in order to ensure that everything gets a good bit of TLC. Those blooming bangs are always in my way, honestly they drive me crazy because they just flap in front of my face like that, they don't really bounce up and curl. So it doesn't really match my entire head, to be honest at all, because my curl pattern tends to get more and more tighter curls as it goes underneath and towards the back. Although I'm starting to see tighter curls in my outer layer or my canopy at the moment. So I do feel that I'm still in transition, even though I've been doing this well over a year now. But I've, you know, I've been on this journey for a little while and it's nice to see results. I didn't realise that my hair was even this curly. So I'm just going to go a little bit more extra of the Not Your Mother's Detangler here because my outer layer is often the driest but it's also quite fine on the outer layer so it is really difficult to not get it too weighed down 
buy oils or butters or creams etc but it is important that I do moisturize this area as it is the area that is actually more exposed to the elements pollution and all sorts and I don't know about you but I'm definitely a hair twiddler I like to twirl my hair around my fingers all day long which I know we shouldn't really do that but yeah I like the way my hair feels and of course I'm going to make sure that after I've done this that I'm going to add a little bit more of the gel just move any little flyaways, bits of frizz and of course to reactivate the products that are already in my hair so I can get a bit of that bounce back in my curls, a bit more life and a bit, little bit more volume. And I'm just running out now of this mousse. So I'm going to tip my head forward and I'll scrunch in. This helps me get a bit more volume. So you just scrunch from the ends right up tight to the roots and pulse just a little bit for a few seconds and then release and then I'm just going to tilt my head back as normal and just scrunch up those outer layers a bit more to see if I can get a bit more lift at the roots if you just heard that, that was the cat that just jumped right next to me so I apologise for that noise so now it's these two these two bits of my hair that I cannot stand so I'm going to get it a little bit wet here Hopefully I can really reactivate the, the gel in there and it's the hardest bit of my hair to actually get to do anything that I want it to. So yeah, it's a bit of a game. A bit more gel. I'm adding a little bit more than I would normally on the other parts of my hair. Um, mainly to give it a little bit more hold and it'll also give it a bit, a bit of slip so that when I go in with my Denman D3 brush it doesn't kind of drag itself through my strands which really hurts and can cause a lot of breakage so what I tend to do is I brush each strand as if it's kind of backwards so the back of the brush is facing the camera or facing away from my forehead and then I will very very gently twist the brush as I'm brushing it through and this helps to train my curls to get that lovely spiral where all my other curls have. It doesn't always work first time so I do have to occasionally do it a couple of times and if that doesn't work because well it is day four so there's going to be a bit more build up on my hair from products that I've used, from sweat, dust, anything that's kind of just been in the environment that I've been in we're still having a little bit of issues here so I'm just going to use my fingers and try and wrap it through my fingers just to give it a bit more encouragement to bring back that spiral just a little bit of a wave will do but yeah so as you can tell I'm just getting a bit more shape to my front bits there and in a mo I'm going to scrunch those up to the root to try and encourage curls to form again in that part of my hair. As you can tell it's a little bit limp still so you know, frustrating. Brilliant, so it seems to look all nice and all right there but yeah. I'm a perfectionist and I will go over it and over it and over it until I can get it to actually do something that's a little bit better I'm just gonna have to put up with what I've got here um, I'm not really doing anything with these clips I'm just moving them about so here I have got the grow long or grow long range grow serum uh, this has got very similar products to what the scalp treatment has but it can be applied all over the hair including the roots. I don't tend to put it on my roots because it can make them feel a bit sticky and that just feels gross. But this has no silicones in it as I'm not quite done yet. I don't tend to use silicones very often but at the moment I'm waiting for some 
products to arrive so until then I've got to use this little bad boy called Pull Poof and what this does, it unfortunately it does have a silicone in it but as my hair is quite frizzy in the UK weather which can be quite humid and muggy um, I do need a little bit of extra protection from the moisture in the air but also to prevent my hair completely drying out in it as well and fluffing up like candy floss so I'm not very happy that I'm using silicones but yeah and we're all done so thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time bye